In this video I'm going to talk about a great article I found on Bootstrap Bay. I want to share with all my fellow e-learning instructional designers out there. Uh, one thing we're all looking for is uh, cheap or in fact free stock photos and that's what this article is about. So let's dive right in. This should be one of my quick tips here. I'm going to share this uh, this link to this article with you because there are 17 amazing sites with, as the title suggests, breathtaking free stock photos. And I'll just go over a few of them for you right now. The first one on the list is uh, stocksnap.io. And so far this has been my favorite one. It's the first one, but it's also my favorite one. And I find that, uh, you know, what's great about this, this is, uh, you know, literally hundreds of high resolution images added weekly. And these are free for you to use. They are free from copyright restrictions and no attribution is required. So um, now with each of these sites, though, I do encourage you to look closely at what the uh, the license is. It could be Creative Commons. It could be, uh, you know, you, were, you could, it's free to use, but you need to um, provide some sort of attribution to the original photographer. Make sure you follow that because obviously sites like this can't exist if, uh, you know, if people are just taking advantage of them and not using them uh, properly. And obviously we want the photographers to make a successful living at what they do as well. And they're probably doing something through like, you know, an advertising uh, revenue share or something like that. But, you know, my test for these is just to try some searches. Um, if you type in, let's say, a, a common thing you might put into a photo like camera or computer. I know with e-learning it's common to have images of computers and, um, you know, maybe some people as you describe what, what you're going to learn. So uh, definitely, definitely seems to be a really good site for finding uh, great images. And uh, there's more, of course. There's this Unsplash site. Um, I find it a little bit more background oriented, but you can test it out with those same types of search functionalities, camera, Let's try computer. As you go through these, you'll start to see some similarities between the photos. I think you'll you'll find that some of the photos are in multiple sites. And let's try people here, see how that looks. One of the tricks with um, you know creating photos for, for such websites as this um, is that when you're taking photos of people, uh, to avoid the requirement to um, pay a model release, uh, you can obviously photograph them in large public places, uh, obscure their image by using a long exposure time so it blurs out their features, and obviously things like silhouettes are, are another way to deal with that as well. Let's take a look at another site here. It's uh, Gratisography. I think I got that right. Uh, in other words, photography that's free. So um, I don't see a search function on this one, but as you can see, there's uh, quite a few images to choose from, and they do have categories across the top here. So if you're looking for something, let's say, more urban-oriented, you could click on that and you'd see you know, images of cities, images of people in cities, and so forth. Um, another site that's on the list is Negative Space. Again, you'll see some familiar photos there, so I'm guessing that the same artist is probably contributing, or the same photographer is probably contributing to multiple sites. Uh, here's another one here, Little Visuals. Um, this one I want to draw your attention to. Uh, this was uh, a site that was put together by a young man named Nick. He was uh, 26, and unfortunately a couple of years ago, he suddenly passed away. And... Um, Obviously, one of uh, far too many young adults whose death comes uh, um, and it's too soon. Um, he suffered from sudden adult death syndrome, and they've, they're they're asking for donations for fundraising here. And I can't think of a better way to honor him 
uh, not only as a young person, but as a photographer, use some of his work, you know, put it in your e-learning, and that way his work continues to live on. In addition, though, make sure you donate at, it, at his site there. So, uh, again, I'll put a link to the, um, to the actual uh, page in the uh, description notes for this particular video. And, um, you know, if you guys like the videos I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, helpful, entertaining, uh, informative, educational, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.